It is written. All right, you guys, you're gonna wanna stay tuned because we're gonna be talking about something very, very powerful right now. All right, you guys, so what we're talking about is it is written. It's in the Word of God. Jesus uses the scriptures to battle the devil. We need to use the scriptures to understand the different ways that the enemy tries to twist the scripture. Whatever you're going through, whatever you're struggling with, go to the Word right here. Find what is written about what you're struggling through and use it to combat the enemy and his lies and everything in your life. You know, and it's, it's in Mark chapter 4, I believe, or Matthew chapter 4, and it's also in Luke chapter 4. When Jesus was, um, he went to the desert for 40 days and 40 nights, and then, you know, he fasted and prayed, and the enemy came and he tempted him. And every time the enemy said, hey, I'll give you this, or I'll do this, or I'll do that, Jesus always said, it is written. The scriptures say, it is written. You know, he was, imagine not eating for 40 days, and the enemy said, hey, if you're really the son of God, turn these stones into bread. And Jesus said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone. Jesus knew the scriptures. He was the scripture. We need to know the scriptures when we're going through stuff. And, and you know, for example, I've, I've learned a lot of healing scriptures lately because of what I'm going through. And I just stand on the healing scriptures. You stand on what the word of God says because it is powerful. The Bible says the word of God does not return void. It goes and accomplishes much. So use the word of God. But if you're aimlessly wandering and you don't even know what the word of God says. You don't know how to, you're not going to know how to fight. You're not going to know how to use what the Lord gave us. So go to his word, find out what his word says and use it. Now you guys, when you're standing on God's word, you're going to have other people tell you a lot of other things that are contrary to the word of God. You're going to have other people say all kinds of different things, but you know what? You need to stick to the truth. It is written. Find out where it is in the Bible and you stand on that truth. It is the Word of God. It is powerful. The promises of, of God are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. Find out what those promises are. Find out what God says in His Word. Okay, your assignment for this week. Pick two scriptures about what you're going through. Write them down, even a little post-it note, a post five by seven note card, whatever. Meditate on those things and begin to use it. Add it to your arsenal. I can guarantee you're gonna see change. All right, man. We hope you guys like this week's message. It is written. You know what? Leave a comment and subscribe.